Thanks. And now to Mrs. Miriam Dalli. Grazie, President, Commissario. Fiddawl ta' skandli u kontroversi riċenti dwar il-privatezza tinħas aktar min għat qabel il-ħtiġa urġenti li nerġaw indahlu l-fiduċja u nindirizzaw t-ħassib tal-konsumaturi u ta' ċittadini Ewropej. Aktar u aktar jekk verament irridu n-izvilupaw il-qasam tal-e-commerce. U biex nerġaw indahlu l-fiduċja irridu n-krejaw u n-applikaw liġijiet b-mot tajjeb Rridu n-informaw l-ċittadini dwar xinu madriti taħħom u n-sempliċiment n-limitaw ruħ nabis biex nuħol u obligi ġodda. Inti, kif iet taħres li t-imbottal u d-dim policies li permet staħħom il-ċittadini taħna ma jħarsux lejn s-settur tal-ICT pala t-eddida għal-jom. U aktar minek u koll kif b-mod konkret iet taħra li l-użu tad-data jista' jkun ta' beneficju għal-ċittadini Ewropej u kif għetti pjana li konna enfesi fu il-benefici fl-oqsma ta' s-saxha, ambjent u anki l-aspet soċjali li teknoloġija t-istat wassal l-ċittadini u l-konsumaturi Ewropej. Grazzi. Mr. Ettinger. Es gibt in der Tat eine viel... Thank you. There are many, many areas of life where digitization brings major advantages. Uh, for example, the health sector or security, life quality for elderly people as well. So I think that first and foremost, we must um, take the vantage point, if you like, the citizen's eye view of things, rather than just industry. And we need to ask the question, what will be the changes to people's place of work, to their where they live, um, to... Uh, if, if they live in a home, how, the fact they, the way they organise their leisure activities, how um, this affects houses, the domestic situation with smart metering, uh, there may well be changes to people's lives, the way they live. And so I think that there are certainly a, a, um, opportunities as well as the challenges. We must inform the citizens about the opportunities, uh, but we must also draw attention to, to the dangers and the pitfalls uh, because we can either remove them or mitigate them. Of course, in, you're never going to be able to remove all risk and, um, from, from the world. Over recent times, um, there is this big um, to-do about selfies made by um, celebrities who are happy to put up um, nude selfies of themselves on the internet. Um, so I'm, I'm afraid that there are some things, people, there is, intelligence is evenly spread out, but so is human uh, folly, and that's one example of that. But what you can do is to make sure that people know uh, what the score is, uh, so that the, at the end of the day, the advantages outweigh the drawbacks. Thank you very much. Mr. David Kassa from the EPP group. The floor is yours. Thank you, Chair. Commissioner-designate, in your introductory speech, um, you have emphasized several times, and I think rightly so, that job creation needs to be the key priority of the new commission. 26 people are unemployed, including millions of young people. It's simply not acceptable nor bearable. Supporting the unemployed in their efforts to find work is key indeed. And in your portfolio, you have several instruments that work on that. Tackling the skills mismatch, stimulating labor mobility, mobilizing financial instruments, this is all so good. But people who are willing to work is simply not enough. We also need job availabilities. Now, I would like to know what the Commission plans to undertake to create the right circumstances for maximizing job opportunities. Thank you for this question. I think it's, um, it's a key question and a key item. Uh, sorry, a King Netherlands speaker. Uh... Oh, I forgot, I can speak Dutch. I think that's a very important issue because job creation is more than matching 
job to a person. They need to be trained. You have to make sure that there's mobility. You have to make sure that people who have jobs available are brought in contact with the people who are unemployed. The, if you read the 10 guidelines of Jean-Claude Juncker, you'll see that all those aspects are covered. It's a policy for jobs, growth, uh, political change. But growth is there. We've got to make sure that there's more growth. We've got to make sure that there is more investment. Growth isn't enough. You have to make sure that the growth is such that it creates job, but jobs, but we do need growth. Jean-Claude Juncker has said that there will be an in investment program, the 300 billion that we've talked about. There are a lot of initiatives which have been notified, which will be implemented in order to make sure that there is growth in the area of research and development, for example. We have to make sure that there's not over-regulation. There are all sorts of legal barriers and other barriers which discourage employers. They've got to be removed or dismantled. We have to stimulate SMEs. We have to promote uh, people who want to create jobs. We have to make sure that we create a capital market so that investors are not dependent on the banks but can invest in the market. We've got to make sure that supply and demand are in balance. These are both si the two sides of a social medal. We have to make sure that there's growth. Uh, we have to make sure that we have social protection and that we have jobs. Thank you.